One little tidbit about Jackson Hole, Wyoming. America Day was part of a homecoming tradition at the Hass School. Students would show up to class either waving American flags or wearing red, white, and blue clothing. And uh, many different students uh, felt singled out. Uh, they felt odd. They're not American, and they, and they, they just felt weird. They, they felt inferior. They felt like they were being left out. Here's America celebrating itself, and they're not American. It's, it's very unfortunate. So, the school says, we're trying to be inclusive and safe and make everybody feel well. See, safe. I'll tell you what. Without it, well, can't say they're not firing shots, but it's fear. We're in a total defensive, fearful position. Okay, okay, okay. And we and we engage in this under the guise of being open-minded and politically correct, but it's fear. Anyhow, um, from Breitbart, world's first lesbian bishop. And by the way, for all this other political stuff, I mean, we got we got the political news. We got Biden talking to Maureen Dowd about his son saying run for president. All it seems to be... Big news. It's captivated the attention here of the drive-bys. Trump dropping in the polls got everybody. I mean, it, you wouldn't believe the orgasms in the uh, Republican establishment, the media taking place over that. And some other things out there. You know, all of that really, I know it's important. It's secondary to me to this stuff. And we can sit around and debate, you know, what people say running for president and all that. But while all that's happening, this cultural deprivation and rot and the erasing of Western civilization is happening right under our nose, right in front of our eyes. I mean, we're looking at it. We are not only looking at it, we are enabling it. The Bishop of Stockholm has proposed a church in her diocese remove all signs of the cross and put down markings showing the direction to Mecca for the benefit of Muslim worshipers. Eva Brunn, who was made the world's first openly lesbian bishop by the Church of Sweden in 2009, and has a young son with her wife and fellow lesbian priest Gunilla Linden, made the suggestion to make those of other faiths more welcome. A, she cannot have a son with her wife. <sighs> but I'm the one that's going to get in trouble for pointing that out. It's not biologically possible. But anyway, again, don't want to make a big deal out of that. So, is it... Has anybody, is this what Muslims do um, in their churches? Do they have, do they, do, they, do they take down all references to Mecca and put up the cross with directions, say, to the Holy Land? Do, do, do mosques do, can you go to a mosque and see the cross with directions to Jerusalem or Bethlehem? I don't think so. The church targeted is the Siemens Mission Church in Stockholm's eastern dockyards. The bishop held a meeting there this year and challenged the priest to explain what he would do if a ship's crew came into port who were not Christian but wanted to pray. Okay, fine. As though they couldn't find a place.